Good afternoon, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video. <laughs> Come back tomorrow. <laughs> one there's another beautiful July day in Chicago you know what I have no idea what we're going to do tonight we've been so go 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 over the weekend and then we spent most of yesterday not at home so I could see us just staying in the neighborhood um, but we'll see we also have to go grocery shopping and Teddy was supposed to have his two month checkup today. Why? Well, I think Jamesy fell asleep. His poor little head was resting on the bar um, in front of him. Um, so Teddy was supposed to have his checkup today, but it got pushed till tomorrow. They just called and asked us to reschedule. Um, and I'm curious if some of my diet is affecting Teddy's tummy troubles. So I'll get more into that tomorrow after I talk to the doctor. Um, so that's just all on our, that's what's on our mind today. But it would be completely blasphemous to not enjoy any time outside tonight after coming out here for this walk. It is, it is, it is extra nice out. It's like even a little cool. Um, so we'll figure something out. Okay, I got dinner going over here. Started with a whole package of white mushrooms with soy sauce and pepper. Cooked that up for a little bit, but then I added half a white onion, some ginger paste, and some minced garlic. And this is gonna be the start of my like sauce that I'm making for noodles, which I've stuttered over here, wide egg noodles. I'm gonna start this out with like a really small roux. They are cooking in butter right now. Um, so I'm gonna add a little bit of flour, I don't have veggie broth like I thought I did, so I'm just gonna do water and soy sauce to kind of just make it into like somewhat of a sauce, not just just the veggies over, um, over the noodles. And then once I kind of get that sauce situated, I'm gonna separate it, cook up some other veggies, and then toss it all together. So I'm just kind of winging this, um, and then I'm gonna also have a salad. So this is how the mushrooms look after I, um, mixed in probably like half a cup of flour. I'm gonna add the water in now. I filled in about, um, like just to cover up the mushrooms in the water. This will get thicker with that flour. Um, you could also use like a packet, like, um, like a gravy packet or something like that to kind of make this sauce, but I'm just keeping it Keep it simple with water and then I'll taste it and probably end up adding more soy sauce. I also have this other garlic sauce I might add in. So I'm gonna let this boil for a little bit and then turn it down to simmer to get it just a little bit thicker. I have a zucchini, the other half of that onion and a red pepper all chopped up to, you know what, I don't know, should I saute them? I don't know, I might just throw it in with and like let them cook in the sauce. So while that cooks, I just threw together a salad of romaine lettuce, two tomatoes, and then a can of my favorite three chickpeas with parsley and cumin from Trader Joe's. So that's actually, I haven't added anything as far as dressing goes. So I'm gonna take a quick taste because the chickpeas were already in a bunch of oil. Um, I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit of something. So I ended up adding just a little bit of red wine vinegar and then Romano cheese on top and it's ah! really good. Oh, I think I'm gonna crinkle up some tostadas and have a little crunch in there too. Teddy was very upset. 
Oh, James is gonna play this track right as we're about to have dinner. Such a great time. Um, my Tuesday was really Monday-ish for work. Um, didn't have too many. Is today? Wait. Is... Today is Tuesday. Yeah, I worked yesterday. Um, today is Tuesday. Um, I think we need to get out and go for a walk. We need some fresh air. I set up an appointment to talk to a sales rep for a developing neighborhood in the Winter Garden area, but I'm not getting my hopes up because just prices are crazy right now over there. I mean, they're crazy everywhere, but the micro market of Central Florida Winter Garden um, and that area is extra overvalued. So um, the prices are whack, but it's one of those places where like, they don't tell you the price of the new builds till you, they try to loop you in and get you suckered into meetings. So um, I'm giving them just enough just enough of a nibble. Going to have a call on Thursday afternoon um, to learn more about the pricing for these different layouts that they have, these houses that they're building um, in, in an area that Sarah and I think is really up our alley. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm not too hopeful because they're standalone houses, and I, though I love that, uh, the current market values in that area might have us priced out of a standalone. We might have to go to a townhome, which are still ridiculous. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not trying to be too negative about it. I'm just trying to be realistic to what um, what we can afford. Here it is. I'll plate it up. Time to go for a walk. It's beautiful out. We stopped into Windy City Sweets to get a little bit of ice cream. James is getting a cookie jar. And I I'm getting the O O O Oreo. Does that look good? <laughs> I think you're salvating. All right, we're minimizing the risk of him getting ice cream all over himself and the stroller by putting him on the bench. This is our toddler, what would you say, like toddler turmoil was he needs to hold the comb. Yeah, so we knew. We got the cup for him because we didn't want him to hold the comb. I had a comb and he had a comb. Yeah, so until we figure this out, next time we just won't get any comb. I guess he's learning. Yeah. Charger, so I couldn't vlog it. Um, so they're in bed. James is in bed. Evie's sleeping. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and say this is. It's good to be home. I don't know if this is gonna turn into a singular vlog because we kind of ended up like coming home from the park and just like getting in the bath, getting in the bedtime routine, and then the kids were like out, and now it's 10:30. So um, I'm gonna go get the apartment shut down, get it ready for bedtime. But we love you guys. It's good to be home. This kid never looked at me in his whole life. Until he got a brother who likes things. And I tried to steal him all the time. He's relaxed. We are all set for Petty's two month appointment. We're just waiting for the doctor to come in. He is. Uh, 23.75 inches, which is two and three quarters inches taller than he was at birth. He's so tall. Um, and 10 pounds, 13 and a half ounces. So he's put on a little bit of weight since he was sick. So that's great. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. 
Me and Jamesy match today. <laughs> What's your hair doing? <laughs> Lion. Say rawr. We are home. I treated us to some McDonald's cokes and fries. Um, even though it was Teddy who got shots, um, I definitely needed it. He actually took them really, really well. I think I was more just anxious beforehand, just knowing that it was coming. Um, but he did a really, really great job. I'm trying to think of what was notable about the appointment. Um, he's in the 71 percentile for head and height. He's tall, but like in the 15th for his weight, she says that he's just long. And um, so that's cool. About his like tummy trolls, she says she doesn't want me to cut anything out of my diet just yet with it being so mild, but just to be aware of my diet. Um, comment below if you had have any experience with that. Um, I know my sister does, so I've had some advice from her. Um, but I'm just going to keep note of what I'm eating versus if he has tummy troubles that day or like within that time. Um, and really, that's it. It was a good, it was a good straightforward appointment. Um, and it's, it's raining now. It's kind of a cozy day, so... I put on Peter Pan. We've kind of been in our same loop of movies, so I'm gonna try and throw in some classics here and there. Are you getting some books out? Hey everybody. This is how the end of my work day looks. Ooh. A weird day. It was like really busy, but not in the way I thought. I'm also hiring somebody now. Kind of all the new news. Ooh, look at his trick. Ooh. Look at James was doing the trick I showed him. I showed him how to do that last week. And I, he, he just looked at me goofy. He didn't do it. And he was just doing it? How cool is that? Did you catch it? I don't think I did. He was like spinning the, the trucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spin, spin, spin. Booyah, booyah. Did the doctor say our baby is a model? Yes. <laughs> Model legs. He's got long. He's long and skinny. What should we eat for dinner? All right, strategic move for the night. I'm picking up a quick sandwich and salad dinner, and then we're gonna do grocery shopping later tonight. Divide and conquer. Parents of two and a pup. So I just ordered two new pairs of leggings. I was influenced by someone online. They've been in my Amazon cart forever. I think it was Kelsey from New Bill Newlyweds. Um, they have two pockets on both sides and a pocket like on the back inside. And I tried on the black pair and they're really nice and they're really like, they feel good quality. Like they're nice and thick. Look at this kid just chilling, having a little pizza pop, having a little salad. Having a little drink of water. No water? That was a big fight. We're watching some Harry Potter, trying to get into our fall feels. James is playing with a dog toy. I realized I my phone died when I was giving my leggings review. They're very thick, nice quality, nice pockets. They're called dragon fit i'll link them below um but i got black and charcoal and i'm super pumped because i just have like maternity leggings at the moment and i've been in need of upgrading so <laughs> i've been in need of upgrading so i'm very happy these feel good they just like Smooth everything out. <laughs> Carrot? What's so funny? The only reason I'm letting him do that is because Eve has never played with that in her life. Walk into the park. Gonna burn out some energy before bedtime. 
Hey. Three fun little animals. We must deliver them. Choose your post person here. There you go. Welp, it's morning, and I actually just filmed this clip, and it was so cute of Teddy smiling, but I was on time lapse, so that's unfortunate, but we are just hanging out. I already got trains going this morning. You got another smile on you? I'll, like, slow down the time lapse, see if I can show you how stinking cute he was. He's still so stinking cute. It's good to be home. Oh, did you just get your vaccine? Good morning, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We are back at the doctor's office today, but this time for a happy reason. And that is James got his second dose of the Pfizer COVID vaccine. That's his band-aid. He took it off. Sorry if there's a little blood on there. There's just a little, a little tiny speck. How was it? It wasn't so fun, right? He fell asleep on the way here. He woke up when I got him out of the car seat. Um, so it was obviously just disoriented. He was, he wasn't so happy, but it was quick and easy and worth it. So now we're watching Moana. We have just have to sit here for 15 minutes to make sure there's no reaction. And then we're gonna get some McDonald's french fries. Well-deserved treat. I also got us cookies. <gasps> they gave us four cookies. I thought I only ordered two. are both napping and so I am running to Trader Joe's by myself. All right, so as per usual, I got a little bit more at Trader Joe's than I expected. However, I think that this will stop us from like late night or like last minute trips to just like walking over to Jewel. And then there you end up spending a little bit extra than you expected. We're really big fans of like big shopping trips at Aldi. The prices just can't be beat. Um, but there, sometimes there's value in the readiness of the things, the quality and whatnot that Trader Joe's provides. And I think that's, I think it's actually, people like lump it together with Whole Foods and it's a lot more affordable than I like remember like even just now I got kombucha at Jugal earlier today because I assumed it would be more expensive here and it was a whole dollar cheaper here 
Um, so if you have a Trader Joe's by you, I highly recommend it. Um, and what else did I want to say? I remember what I was going to say. So an issue that I run into at Aldi though is that sometimes they only have like a few kinds of bread or like not that many cereal bars and like with things like that like I really do try to like be aware of the quality of food especially when it's I mean I'm I'm important to me too but especially with James like I like I want it to be really nutritious and just to be mindful of grain the the grain in America is I don't know, you just kind of have to be on your toes about what you're buying, especially just like the quality of it. And so I really intended on today, like more so getting stuff for James's breakfast and lunch. Um, but then quickly it turned into like a full haul, but that is okay. I'm excited about all of the dinner ideas that I have. Um, and yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good for this like, I hate to say like end of summer like basically like in Chicago I feel like there's a lot of festivals going on there's a lot of like events that we are going to be taking advantage of to just soak up the the, the rest of summer the the nice weather you know Teddy was born at like the beginning of summer and so he was so so teeny tiny we were just home at the beginning then we spent a lot of time in Florida and then we had RSV so we were sick and we couldn't like get out and about and so it kind of feels like you know we are going to be aware of what's going on and taking advantage of that so it's always great to have quick like just things that I don't have to like truly think about to like have for dinner you know when you're busy it feels like every minute counts and so especially with us wanting to really really enjoy this last bit of you know summer fun that we won't feel like we have to eat out while we are out and about and what we make at home will be yummy and nutritious and good so that's how i'm making myself feel better for splurging a bit more today than i expected um, but I, I truly do think it is worth it and I'm excited to, to show you guys what, what we're going to eat. Some of our typical favorites, um, but a few new ones too. So I will for sure do a haul when I get home. Someone woke up from the map very happy, but does not want to come out of his crib. He wanted me to put all of these plush Pegasus bah, 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 in there so we could play with them. We're gonna stand back and admire them. Nice. Did you have a good nap? Hey. Turn it, turn it, turn it. You can do it. Good job. Baby. You want lemons? Oh, you're stressed because Peter went out to get the rest of the groceries. He'll be right back. I look over and he's just doing this puzzle his mind is just always going always thinking always like okay he also has a lot of that alphabet right <laughs> but the way he plays is truly something else all right so here is everything i got <laughs> now looking i was like yeah i sure did get a lot but lots Lots of good meals coming up. All right, I'll start over here. These are go-to, always buy them more. they're vegan, spicy lentil wraps. Um, this pasta, so yummy. We actually have half of another bag. Um, so that's like always an easy dinner for us. Also got this pasta unexpectedly. I cannot pass up a wide noodle. And so this was on a whim. Got tortillas, Peter loves making spinach tortillas for lunches. I've recently been making James hummus roll-ups in tortillas or peanut butter roll-ups, so key for us. Got hamburger buns because tonight we're actually gonna have lentil sloppy joes. And then this is ancient grain bread, easy breakfasts for James, peanut butter, honey, that sort of thing. And then I also got this spaghetti. It's lentil and brown rice pasta. They didn't have the noodles I wanted that I typically make like my peanut sauce noodles with, but this will do. 
So we got go to soy chorizo, these pork and ginger soup dumplings. These are great for James for lunch. Um, I got these for quick side for one of our stir fry nights or something. It's always nice to have a, a pizza at the ready. So I always say, why don't we just have one in the freezer at all times? And today we do. Blueberry waffles. We're going to do breakfast for dinner one night. These are going to be for me. I actually, I have been tired lately and I've been like just thinking about like I need to up my calories for breastfeeding. And so this is just like something I'm going to have easy for lunch for myself. And then we got the veggie, veggie goiza. I'm going to make that dumpling soup again with this miso broth and veggies. Those veggies actually. Here are some things that we like always have. Lentils, veggie broth, orange juice. We actually typically don't have orange juice, but kind of been on an orange juice kick. Good for smoothies. This is the barbecue sauce we're going to use on our lentil sloppy joes. I have a visitor who loves playing with the magnets olive oil and i've heard i've heard good things about this jalapeno sauce so i got some of that today so next i'll do produce i was trying to like put stuff away while doing this but it's dinner time and teddy just woke up and so i think i might pick up the pace a little bit so we got the stir fry i think that's gonna go in our soup lots of cherry tomatoes some of james favorite good for pasta we got strawberries, we got bananas, we got pineapple, and then potatoes. I got some red onion. Typically I go yellow onion, so I just spunked it up a little. Spinach, this crunch collection of all different types of stuff. Maybe some of this will go in that dumpling soup and romaine hearts. All right, Sarah has to feed uh, Teddy, so she handed the... Uh... What is this, an unboxing off to me? Uh, or haul. Haul. Uh, these are snacks. These are yogurts. This is oat milk. Boom. No, I'm just joking. Yeah, we got snacks. Look, look, there's some hummus. There's some dried mango. Oh, James loves these. Ooh, jerk style plantain chips. Dark chocolate covered almonds. Banana bread, that banana bread is awesome. James loves a good yogurt, so I'm assuming that's for him. I think we got some garbanzo beans, salad, avocado, also for James. So much for James. Uh, he eats a lot, and he likes all different kinds of things. What is it? It looks like a cheese Whiz. Ooh, whipped cream, eh? Nice. All right, there's the haul. So uh, I'm going to work on putting it away. <laughs> so <laughs> so i'm making this pizza tonight so funny i was like this is really nice to have just like in a pinch well tonight is in a pinch so we're having that and then these fried dill pickle slices for a side this is a pretty decent sized pizza but our toddler eats a lot and we are hungry people. So this will be good for a side. So another way I am being conscious of my milk supply and just like my overall well-being um, is drinking a body armor each day for good hydration. Body armor does not have as much of the unnecessary nonsense a lot of sports drinks have in it, have in them. Um, so this is... This is a great, great option. And you guys know I like a fancy drink, so I just make it like one of my special <laughs> drinks of the day. And it makes me happy, and it makes me feel good. All right, here's our pizza. Pretty decent amount for that family size. Pickle chips, this is a new jalapeno sauce I got from Trader Joe's. James is... <laughs> Being super goofy today. Oh gosh. And then we also got Greek goddess dip from Trader Joe's to dip.
Did you show that we're watching Julie and Julia? They just really miss Stanley Tucci. Sorry, Stanley you Tucci. don't have YouTube, YouTube TV. TV Live try this sauce. Might be hot. <laughs> they kick us at the, e at the end. I was going to give it an 8, now I give it an 8. Eight, seven, five. Oh. Friends, we have some iffy news. Well, we don't even know what is what yet. But we had a little spill on my laptop of water. And it was very quick and I caught it. It was like the table. It was on this little table I use. And James had like walked past the wire and it all kind of toppled. Um, so we're going to dry it. I'm not going to try to edit. So this will be a three-parter. But hopefully the computer's fine. Peter knows. I was like, what do I do? Because he's, he knows all that stuff. Um, we have chips that Eve wants. So, yeah. Hopefully everything's fine. I do not have a good track record with technology these days. Regarding the camera, we have not heard that anything from Southwest, so... Probably unlikely that we're going to. So there's that, and then hopefully, hopefully the laptop survives. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>